Hey guys, it's me again. As you see, I'm going to be doing a tutorial here. To add a language on your Windows 7 PC if you're running Windows 7 Home Premium or Professional. And I found this program called a Vistalator. Vistalizator. Or whatever how you pronounce it, okay? You're gonna have to download the program first from me. And I'm gonna give you a link on the description. If you're running Windows 7 with Service Pack 1 like I am as you see, you're gonna run into some issues as you see. And I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna show you how to resolve the issue. Okay, I downloaded the program itself right here where it says Vistalizator. You right click, you want to go to properties. Go to the compatibility tab. Click where it says run this program in compatibility mode for. You want to select the operating system as Windows 7. And you want to right click, run as administrator. You want to click yes. And and you can add languages and change or remove language or you can update the language with this program all you just gotta do is download the following languages depending on your Windows 7 PC if you're running 32-bit or 64-bit we're gonna go ahead and there's another a language pack link We'll put these links in the description because it's going to have all the languages you need for those of you who want to install a different language. Say that if you want to learn English, you can go right here to this link. But I know I got a couple of subscribers that are that want to learn how to add Arabic to their systems. And here's there's a link for Arabic. And they will have all these languages that all you need. Be mindful, there's certain, most of them are, are the same, but actually, one's a 32 bit link and one's the 64 bit link. As you see, these are the ones for the 64 bit language packs. They're actually supposed to work for like Windows 7. Enterprise and Ultimate Edition. These are both 32 bit language packs. So I want y'all guys to be mindful if you want to adding another language. But be real careful whenever you're installing certain languages on your own um, computer because when you're installing certain languages, some people may not be able to understand it um, unless you're trying to learn the language yourself. So, I hope this tutorial helped you out, and those of you who would like to see a how to change your language for your keyboard layout, I will do a video for that soon, to change the language of your keyboard layout. And I hope this video quickly helped you out a bit, so thanks for watching.